hello students today i am going to start a new chapter of plant physiology that is respiration in the last class i completed photosynthesis chapter and after photosynthesis chapter uh, the next chapter is this chapter that is respiration now let us go for the details of this chapter now we will start with the definition of respiration respiration can be described as catabolic oxidative and enzyme mediated reaction in which carbon bonds they break down in order to form some amount of energy what is that some amount of energy aapko dheere dheere aapko samajh mein aayega you don't worry about it i am definitely going to explain each and every step in a detailed manner and every step mein uh, kitna amount of energy it will be produced and after finishing all the steps last mein the whole respiration process mein kitna amount of energy it will be produced definitely i am going to discuss about it but for now you remember some amount of energy it will be released what is that some definitely i am going to explain okay now uh, here uh, while i am uh, giving the definition of respiration i used three important words what are they respiration can be described as catabolic let us see what is the meaning of catabolic catabolic means hope you remember in the first chapter that means in the living world while i am explaining about characteristics of living organism i already discussed about what is metabolism metabolism means the sum total of all the chemical reactions that takes place in the body of an organism that is called as metabolism let's say very easy way i'll tell you let us take one person is there uh, let us name that person also uh, that person name is rama now that rama body me let us consider only for your example i am telling uh, let us take 10000 chemical reactions are taking place in the body of rama so this sum total of all the chemical reactions that means this 10000 chemical reactions ka sum total that only you are calling it as a metabolism i think you understood because i told you in a very easy way so uh, but still uh, safety ke liye i am repeating once again the sum total of all the chemical reactions that takes place in the body of an organism is called as it is called as metabolism such metabolism it is differentiated into two types what are they the first one is anabolism and the second one is catabolism anabolism matlab the chemical reaction in which two small molecules they join to form a big molecule then that is called as anabolism because two small molecules are joining to form a big molecule it is called as constructive process let's say a uh, photosynthesis process is there during photosynthesis kya chal rahe 6 co2 plus 12 h2o they are reacting in the presence of sunlight and they are producing producing c6 h12o6 that means glucose that means to form glucose this water molecule and also carbon dioxide molecules they are joining that means what you understood i think so i am telling you so clearly the chemical reaction in which two or more molecules they are joining to form a big molecule then that is called as anabolism now in the last chapter just in the last chapter that is photosynthesis we discussed about anabolism and in this chapter i mean respiration chapter mein we are uh, describing catabolism respiration is a catabolic process why in this the glucose molecule that means c6 h12 o6 it break down to form carbon dioxide and water so this process it is called as respiration hope you understood of course last mein me thoda twist dete hai uh, respiration mein thoda anabolism bhi hote hai uh, you don't worry about it uh, unnecessarily i don't want to confuse you now after finishing the complete uh, what i call mechanism of respiration last time i will take it respiratory pathway mein that means respiratory mechanism mein uh, some anabolic uh, anabolism is also uh, included but i just in the first class of respiration itself i don't want to confuse you so 
what i wanted to tell you is respiration can be defined as catabolic means the big molecule it is breaking down to form small molecules then that is called as catabolic and the second one is oxidative what is the meaning of oxidative the process or a physiological mechanism which involve or which takes place in the presence of oxygen then that is called as oxidative because respiration it is depending upon oxygen that's why it is called as oxidative and enzyme mediated what is the meaning of enzyme mediated see respiration it is a it's a it's a chemical process it's a long chemical process which includes so many steps and as it is including so many steps that many chemical reactions that must be coordinated by some enzymes that must be catalyzed by some enzymes so as the respiration is a prolonged mechanism uh, this prolonged mechanism may many chemical reactions are involved so many chemical reactions must be catalyzed by several enzymes that's why i described it as enzyme mediated reaction now you join all the three words and read once again then you will understand respiration is a catabolic oxidative and enzyme mediated catabolic the chemical reaction in which one big molecule it break down to form two small molecules oxidative and this mechanism it includes it it need the presence of oxygen and uh, enzyme mediated respiration is a prolonged process prolonged mechanism in which many chemical reactions are involved so that many enzymes they are involved to catalyze that particular chemical reactions so catabolic oxidative and enzyme mediated reaction okay very good you understood what is the uh, respiration how we can describe and okay after that what is exactly happening by this mechanism some carbon bonds they will break down why they are breaking down to produce some amount of energy and this whole process only you are calling it as respiration i think so i explained the respiration definition clearly but still if you have any uh, small small doubts you please ask me okay now respiration just now i told you i need not to tell you again it is a catabolic process in which complex organic molecules they are oxidized to a simpler one that means simpler ones means carbon uh, for example let us come from the beginning complex organic molecules means this glucose c6 h12o6 of course sometimes proteins and lipids also but that is sometimes okay but mostly uh, the most favorable respiratory substance that is nothing but glucose only so this glucose it converts into uh, uh, what is simpler ones that means carbon dioxide and water to release some energy in a in a series of steps so that means don't think that glucose at once it will break down and produces some amount of energy as a bilkul 101% nahi hote it's a gradual and step wise process achanak nahi hote it actually i am going to dheere dheere i am going to explain respiration mein kya kya steps hai kitna kitna vadegal mechanisms are involved everything definitely i am going to explain it whereas respiration you have to describe the respiration process as cellular respiration why you know every cell that is present in our body if it want energy it need to participate in the respiration then only you will get the energy for example a very easy way very very simple way i'll tell you let us take in a family let us take 10 members are there see 10 members are same family am i correct or not not like that our human body uh, uh, let us consider our human body as a family it is made up of so many cells let us take our family is a uh, what do you call uh, is our body and all the family members mother father grandmother grandfather and uh, what do you call your brother and your sister like that all these family members are cells now please try to understand this is all a family that means all the cells are staying together but aapko bhook lagega to for example you are getting weak so aapko bhook lag raha hai na then you only have to eat am i correct i am telling you correctly you know that means though you are staying together but in terms of energy that means when you need energy you have to take your food imagine your father ate and you don't become energized understanding for example you ate your father do not become energized that means in terms of energy 
everyone they have to take their own food material then only they will get the energy same concept please implement it uh, convert into respiration every cell all the cells are present in our body only but in terms of energy every cell when it participate in respiration then only uh, they will get the energy because all the cells they want energy so they are participating in the respiration that is the reason why respiration we are calling it as cellular respiration i think i give enough of uh, uh, explanation but still if you have any confusion please let me know i'll definitely clear you so respiration it is called as cellular respiration or a dark respiration or internal respiration because it is taking place inside the cell now respiration it is considered as catabolic uh, this i i need not to tell you. again and again i need not to tell you whereas uh, exothermic what is the meaning of exothermic by this mechanism called respiration some amount of energy it is released exothermic so energy is released exo means what bahar so outside released so what is released energy is released so exothermic the chemical reaction in which energy is released out then that reactions are called as exothermic and obviously undoubtedly it is an oxidative process that means it need oxygen otherwise it cannot be able to take place of course i i know that respiration sometimes it takes place even in the presence of even in the absence of oxygen then that is called as anaerobic respiration okay but mostly uh, aerobic respiration matlab it need the presence of oxygen hope you understood and respiration is also considered as anabolic process that means respiration uh, may thoda anabolism part is also involved but students this point please uh, forgive me now i am not explaining because if i start explaining this particular point i am telling you you definitely get confused so i don't want you to confuse so aapko abhi tak you know you just remember uh, respiration mein thoda anabolism part is also involved where it comes how it comes last video that means after completely finishing the mechanism also final lecture mein i am going to explain why respiration also include anabolism so this point for now you just remember so please don't mind see my intention kya hai no please try to understand if i explain this point you will confuse so i unnecessarily don't want you to confuse so i am stopping this point you just remember pura explanation sabse last that means after finishing the complete mechanism the end lecture of this chapter mein i am going to explain you why it is called as anabolic okay now the respiration uh, the general equation is c6h12o6 that means glucose in the presence of oxygen it it break down to form carbon dioxide and oxygen by that some amount of energy it is produced so this is a simple equation a general equation of the respiration where this word we are calling na respiration that word it was given by deuterochet okay again i think name is a little difficult deuterochet what is that deuterochet now malpighi in the year uh, 1679 he gave the importance of the air the importance of the air during the germination of the seeds students i think i think nahi it is a sure i did a mistake that is importance of air i forgot the typing mistake see i am not very good in typing i can't type fast that's why this many mistakes are coming please don't mind okay so malpighi showed the importance of air during the germination of seeds of the plants whereas pasteur uh, this uh, louis pasteur in the 1870 he discovered anaerobic respiration okay with the help of the process called as fermentation okay i think you understood the uh, introductory part of respiration but still just for safety sake i am going to explain it once again respiration can be defined as catabolic oxidative and enzyme mediated reaction in which carbon bonds they break down to produce some amount of energy what is that some some amount wait i am definitely going to explain this whole chapter is all about that only na where respiration is a catabolic process in which complex organic molecules they break down to form simpler or uh, simpler molecules uh, in a stepwise in a gradual stepwise manner by releasing energy 
whereas respiration it ha it has to be termed as a cellular respiration because every cell need to participate in the respiration then only it gets the energy so every cell it is acting as an individual unit in terms of gathering the in terms of generating the energy that's why we have to call it as cellular respiration or dark respiration or internal respiration where respiration can be described as catabolic and exothermic where the energy it is released out that's why it is called as exothermic and oxygen is required so it is oxidative process and respiration can also be considered as anabolic and this completely last lecture may i'm going to explain this whereas the general equation of the respiration is c6 h12o6 in the presence of oxygen it break down to form carbon dioxide and water and thereby some amount of energy it will be released the term the word respiration was given by deuterochet whereas uh, the importance of the air especially for the germination of seed was approved by malpighi whereas pasteur he described anaerobic respiration by the process called fermentation so hope you understood students but still if you have any doubts please let me know now the second concept of the respiration is a respiratory substrates respiratory substrates means what all the compounds or what are the substances that are getting oxidized that means that are getting utilized in the process of respiration they are all called as respiratory substrates for example respiration may what will be utilized glucose it will be utilized so now we have to call glucose as a respiratory substrate for example some cases may uh, uh, proteins are also utilized for the uh, respiration so now the proteins are considered as respiratory substrates for example sometimes fats also used as a respiratory substrate so now uh, the fats will be considered as respiratory substrates that means what i wanted to tell you is what all the substances that are getting oxidized that means that are getting utilized in the process of respiration that all the substances that compounds only you are calling it as respiratory substrates but i need to tell you the most important thing you have to remember this point mostly carbohydrates that to carbohydrates in the form of glucose they are the most suitable respiratory substrates understanding it very very important point students this point you have to remember it what is the most suitable respiratory substrate then your answer must be carbohydrates yes again in the carbohydrates in which form they will give sucrose they give some what you call some other forms of glucose uh, some other forms of carbohydrates then your answer must be glucose so hope you understood but please try to understand under certain conditions under certain physiological conditions sometimes instead of carbohydrates i mean glucose i mean carbohydrates matlab carbohydrates are utilized in the form of glucose so please try to understand so uh, uh, instead of this glucose sometimes fats whereas sometimes proteins or even in some exceptional cases may some organic acids are also acting as respiratory substrates so that depends upon the conditions for example i'll tell you very easy example 100% you will understand every day you are eating food so obviously in your body glucose is utilized as a respiratory substrate for example today uh, you uh, you are fasting just imagine then what happens in your body some fats it will be utilized as a respiratory substrate for example if you prolong the uh, fasting then it converts into starvation then it results in the uh, utilization of proteins or our organic acids as the respiratory substrates that means that depends upon the situation for example if you are eating daily then obviously the glucose only it will be utilized as the respiratory substrate but one thing you need to understand here uh, when we are eating the food material all the food material what we are eating that won't be utilized for the uh, uh, what i call energy production uh, some amount 
of the glucose it will be stored for the future purpose and that only you are calling it as reserve food material so whenever uh, some days uh, you will be busy or sometimes you may go out in such uh, exceptional cases may this reserve food material it will be used as a respiratory substrate i think so you understood and one key point you need to understand respiratory process it is not a immediate process glucose breakdown and immediately energy is a bilkul nahi hota hai respiration it takes place a step in a stepwise manner somewhere i mentioned also see in a series of slow stepwise reactions that to their enzyme mediated see controlled by enzymes and when these steps are dheere dheere that means step by step wise in a series they chal rahe na so when it is going in a series of steps some amount of energy it will be trapped in form of atp now you understood na so atp formation ke liye that means in our body energy it is produced in form of atp that is the reason why atp it is called as energy coins of the body understand it energy currency of the body you energy coins also energy currency also don't worry paisa paisa hi hota hai understand it so energy currency or energy coins of the cell so please uh, try to understand don't get confused hope you understood respiratory substrates but still a very very small recap i am going to give the substances which undergo respiration called as respiratory substrates usually carbohydrates especially carbohydrates in the form of glucose they uh, they are the most suitable respiratory substrates uh, uh, substrates but exceptionally in some physiological conditions may uh, fats proteins or even organic acids are also utilized as respiratory substances an example i also told you where respiratory substrates uh, well they are oxidizing they oxidize in a series of slow stepwise reactions when it is going in a series of stepwise reactions so energy it is trapped in form of atp so in our body the energy is generated in form of atp so atp it is called as energy coins or energy currency hope you understood now uh, let us take the next type a uh, next concept that is types of respiration so uh, uh, types of respiration first thing is on the basis of which type of respiratory substrate uh, it is of two types the first one is floating respiration and the second one is protoplasmic respiration whereas on the basis of availability of oxygen also again they are classified into two types that is uh, aerobic respiration and also anaerobic respiration now let us take the first one respiration that means i mean types of respiration based on uh, the respiratory substrates based on the respiratory substrates there are two types of uh, uh, respirations floating respiration and protoplasmic respiration floating respiration means it is a general it's a normal respiration where the respiratory substrates are nothing but the stored food like carbohydrates fats or even proteins so if the carbohydrates uh, proteins and also fats they are utilized for the process of respiration then that is called as floating respiration that means it is a common respiration commonly generally in our body respiration it obviously uh, it utilizes our uh, reserve food material only uh, only na so uh, floating respiration matlab it is a common respiration which is taking place in our body but protoplasmic respiration is not a normal respiration sometimes the persons they undergo undergo a prolonged starvation that means they don't eat for longer time of course sometimes khud hi aisa karte hai the drama play karte hai whereas sometimes the uh, some poor people they don't get the food material so uh, they starve like that so in such conditions the protoplasmic content of the cells they starts oxidizing so th- this is a very dangerous one why you know why i am describing this is dangerous you know that results in the damage of the cell so the cells eventually they get damaged so uh, the protoplasmic respiration it results in the muscle loss understanding it and slowly slowly the 
person becomes completely lean and if that even still more prolongs na the person it enter he enters into coma or he, sometimes he may even die also that's why protoplasmic respiration you uh, that's why i used to tell don't waste the food sometimes you know students they will they will uh, what will throw the food see for example if aapko kana zyada ho gaya then what you do na very simple रोड साइड में देर आर सर्टेन वडिकल 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 सीमेंट विथ सीमेंट दे मेक सम काइंड ऑफ वडिकल स्टेज काइंड ऑफ थिंग देर यू पुट सम क्रो और सम पैरट्स और सम पीजेंस दे ईट और सम डॉग्स दे ईट बट डोंट थ्रो द फूड मटेरियल डोंट वेस्ट द फूड मटेरियल वेस्टिंग द फूड मटेरियल सी आपको एक्सेस हो गया बट सम पीपल दे आर सफरिंग विदाउट द फूड मटेरियल सो इफ यू गिव दैम सो हाउ हैप्पी दे फील so uh, you feed some person and you look at his uh, look into his eyes how happy he will be i'm i'm telling you hunger is a you know responsible for many things you know hunger it turns the person in any way understanding it so feed the persons understanding it i'm not telling that uh, what i will waste the uh, what i will uh, don't uh, donate or uh, what i will uh, uh, unnecessarily see aapko thoda excess ho gaya to so obviously you can donate to the uh, needy people understanding it sometimes what happens you know while you are donating also some people they will misuse you so take the right path and try to donate hope you understood now the second one is on the basis of availability of oxygen so based on availability of oxygen again the respiration it is of two types the first one is aerobic respiration and the next one is anaerobic respiration in the name itself students aapko clearly dikh raha hai na aerobic respiration matlab it's a complete oxidation of the food material in the presence of oxygen then that process only are calling it as aerobic respiration see in the name itself again i need not insist so much anaerobic anaerobic that means in the incomplete oxidation of the food material uh, in the in the absence of the oxygen then that is called as anaerobic respiration especially aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration i need not to tell you so much why you know in the name itself the meaning is there now see uh, i gave the general equation also in aerobic respiration the glucose in the presence of oxygen clearly dikh raha hai na it is producing carbon dioxide and water and it results in the formation of some amount of energy what is that some amount of energy 686 kilo calories of energy where it measures up to 38 to 36 uh, atps of course there is something missing here don't worry you don't at all worry i am going to explain each and every point so clearly uh, uh, you will definitely understand why i am telling you like this okay you please need to wait okay now anaerobic respiration may see incomplete oxidation it is taking place clearly mentioned na c6 h12o6 it is incompletely oxidizing and producing what c2hyoh that means ethanol correct or not and some amount of carbon dioxide of course here some amount of water is also released if you want i'll mention uh, of course if you want i i definitely need to mention okay so i am mentioning see i mentioned so some amount of water is also released in this okay uh, hope you understood uh, so uh, this is the anaerobic respiration and this is the aerobic respiration okay now let us go for the next topic what is that mechanism of respiration so mechanism of respiration it includes three important steps what are they glycolysis and the next one is krebs cycle which is also called as a tca pathway and the last step is a terminal oxidation which is called as more popularly called as electron transport system now let us take where these three they are taking place in the cell then we will understand what exactly happening in the respiration okay now see we ate food material and the food it is digested you know what is the meaning of digestion the process of breakdown of large complex molecules to simple soluble molecules called as uh digestion so by the digestion the carbohydrates are converted into glucose so now the glucose it entered into the cell sir how glucose it entered into the cell you know very well the glucose it enters into the cell by the circulatory system by the blood so the by, by the blood the every cell it receives the glucose now the glucose which entered into the uh, cell it it see it is entering see it let us take this is a plasma membrane now it entered into the cytoplasm of the cell 
in the cytoplasm of the cell i told oh, you remember na how many steps are there three steps are there yada na now the first step which is called as glycolysis it is taking place in the cytoplasm of the cell see i clearly mentioned for your understanding glycolysis is the first step of the respiration which takes place in the cytoplasm of the cell okay now you understood huh? now by the glycolysis the end product of the glycolysis is nothing but pyruvic acid see glycolysis in the name itself clearly the answer is given glycolysis glucose breakdown what is the meaning of lysis lysis means breakdown sabko pata hai glyco that means glucose molecule so glucose molecule it is breaking down so that is only the meaning of glycolysis glucose breakdown so by the glucose breakdown what is formed pyruvic acid is formed which is the py which is the first step of the uh, what do you call respiration so the process of breakdown of one glucose molecule to form two pyruvic acid molecules that only are calling it as glycolysis which is the first step of the respiration now either they can aapko aapko dikh raha hai na so this is pyruvic acid now asli game shuru hota hai what is that you know this pyruvic acid this pyruvate fat naseeb count decide count decide karega pata hai aapko oxygen yaad rakh okay now this pyruvic acid ko oxygen nahi mila ओके अभी अभी इमेजिन उसको ऑक्सीजन नहीं मिला देन व्हाट एपन यू नो दिस पायरविक एसिड इन द ऑप्शेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन इट अंडरगोस एनारोबिक रेस्पिरेशन अंडरस्टूड यू रिमेंबर ना जस्ट फाइव मिनट्स बैक ऑन आई टोल्ड व्हाट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ एनारोबिक रेस्पिरेशन द इनकम्प्लीट ऑक्सीडेशन ऑफ द फूड मटीरियल इन द ऑप्शेंस ऑफ द ऑक्सीजन दैट ओन इन द ऑप्शेंस ऑफ ऑक्सीजन दैट ओन यू आर कॉलिंग इट एज वट इक Uh, uh, anaerobic respiration see anaerobic respiration by the process called as fermentation and by the fermentation either lactic acid will be produced or even or ethanol also understanding it so the ethanol matlab we will call it you you are chemistry students also i need not to tell so alcohol will be produced understanding it so either lactic acid or ethanol both both are be pro, uh, will be produced and sir how both will be produced wait definitely i am going to explain uh, after finishing the first step what is the first step glycolysis after glycolysis i have to tell you uh, fermentation process in the fermentation process so clearly i am going to explain this okay now pyruvic acid uh, oxygen nahi mil rahe that means oxygen is not available then anaerobic respiration by the process called as fermentation a lactic acid or ethanol will be produced but second case mein what happens you know if the pyruvic acid if it get oxygen see in the presence of oxygen it undergoes an aerobic respiration understanding it that means you need to understand the fate of the pyruvic acid it will be decided by the availability of oxygen oxygen mila then no problem aerobic respiration oxygen nahi mila then anaerobic respiration yaad rakh understanding it so this oxygen when it is present aerobic respiration so in the presence of oxygen this pyruvic acid it enters into the matrix of the mitochondria that's the reason why mitochondria it is also called as organelle of cellular respiration i repeat organelle of cellular respiration because cellular respiration it is taking place in mitochondria so that's why mitochondria you are calling it as organelle of cellular respiration now see the pyruvate it entered into the matrix of mitochondria now this pyruvic acid it loses some uh, uh, one carbon in form of carbon dioxide so pyruvic acid में पायरविक एसिड से ये एक कार्बन बाहर आ गया इन द फॉर्म ऑफ कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इसका वजह से क्या हुआ ना द पायरविक एसिड इट कन्वर्टेड इनटू एसिटाइल को एंजाइम एंड नाउ दिस एसिटाइल को एंजाइम इट एंटर्स इनटू द सेकंड स्टेप ऑफ द रेस्पिरेशन दैट सेकंड स्टेप ऑफ द रेस्पिरेशन ओनली यू आर कॉलिंग इट एज टी सी ए वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ टी सी ए ट्राई कार्बॉक्सिलिक एसिड पाथवे which was explained by krebs that's why it is called as krebs pathway hope you understood what is the second step now by the krebs pathway you will get some products called as nadh and fadh and this nadh and fadh they undergoes the third step of the respiration that is called as electron transport system so simply you can call it as 
ETS. Understanding it? Of course, you can also call it as a terminal oxidization also. There is no problem. Same. Meaning is same. You don't worry about the words. So whatever the word you use, obviously the meaning is same. So hope you understood. So these are the three steps of the respiration. A very, very simple uh, recap I am going to give you. Glucose, it enters into the cell. Now, after it enters into the cell, that means cytoplasm of the cell, it undergoes the first step of the respiration that is called as glycolysis. And glycolysis ka vaje se, the end product mil gaya, pyruvic acid. And this pyruvic acid fate, it will be decided by the availability of the oxygen. If oxygen is available, then it undergoes aerobic respiration. In the presence of oxygen, the pyruvic acid uh, it enters into the uh, matrix of mitochondria and it converts into acetyl coenzyme by losing one carbon in form of carbon dioxide. Now this acetyl coenzyme, it undergoes the second step of the respiration that is called as tricarboxylic acid uh, uh, pathway, which is also called as Krebs pathway, which you have to call it as a second step of the respiration. By tricarboxylic acid pathway, that means Krebs pathway, NADH and FADH2 will be produced and this NADH and FADH2 they undergoes the third step of the respiration that is called as electron transport system. So uh, these are the three steps. One glycolysis, two tricarboxylic acid pathway, three electron transport system. So these are the three steps of the respiration whereas if the pyruvic acid uh, oxygen is absent in that condition it undergoes anaerobic respiration by the process called as fermentation by fermentation process sometimes lactic acid whereas sometimes ethanol will be produced how wait I am going to explain okay now hope you understood the overview of the mechanism of the respiration now in the next class I am going to explain about the first step of the uh, respiration that is nothing but glycolysis in a detailed manner understanding it uh, so today's class hope you understood but today's class me if you have any confusions or any queries please let me know definitely I will answer you okay thank you so much